Holy fucking shit. Oh my god. What the shit? You guys actually did it. Oh my god. So, I really mean it when I say this, but spots are running out. We're running out of space. Nah, I'm just kidding. We've got this whole fucking wall. Thank you all for commenting. Keep going. I've got uh, quite a bit of space left. So, uh, they're going quick. So, let, let put your name in the comment section below. On with the video! Welcome back! My Chonker Gamers. This is another episode of Starship Design. And today... We're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna stray away from building a large ship and go to trying to build a, a small ship. So I'm sure you all remember this from the last episode, but this is my Scion class freighter. It's uh, looking very nice. Yep, designed to travel and bring cargo to other planets. But as I stated in the last video, it has no armament. So there's no there's no weapons, there's no missiles, no turrets, nothing to protect it. And yeah, I could put some turrets on and yeah, it'd look cool with some guns. But I saw a comment saying that I should make a small drone or a couple drones that fly and escort the ship while it travels or transports its goods. So I feel like this is a perfect segue to building small ships. So for this small drone, we're going to use the same design as the Scion. So it's built by the same uh, Mantis Corporation where uh, all their designs have this almost insect-like carapace going across the back. And we're going to try and keep that same design for these little drones. And while I'm building, I may edit the Scion just a little bit and I'll let you in on what I change and what's different if I do so. All right, so let's just... Get right into it. This is what we have so far. Um, I tried to keep it as small and compact as possible. And I went for like a little V design. It's like supposed to be as if it's like a super fast craft where it darts in and darts out of conflicts. And um, it's like a really hard and small target to hit. The only problem with it though, that I noticed was when you actually fly it, it's really slow. The pickup on it is not great at all. And someone mentioned this in the comments and thank you so much for this idea, but I put decoys into the wings of this little drone. So what I'm gonna do now is edit just the back of it. I think I'm just gonna put one large thruster in the back. I might add uh, little thrusters on the ends here, right behind the decoys to give it more for a thrust as well as some extra gyroscope so it can like turn on a dime but yeah this is what i got so far so i will be back after these edits Here it is, all completed and finished. So I was thinking, I was like, how am I gonna add uh, some like hangers to the spots to add these like little drones? And I thought, you know what? The best way and to keep the same like style and look of the ship is just to have flat platforms on each side of the ship. And because it's not interior, like the hangar bay is not integrated into the hull, I can fit a lot more onto these pads and at any size variant. And something that I am very impressed with 
is this little rotating uh, radar. So obviously it does nothing. It just looks very cool. And the real antenna is right beside it with a little bit of armor. But yeah, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. And I hope that you guys incorporate this to your design. And all I did was if you just go into a terminal and you look for your rotor, there's an option to add rotor head, uh, but there's also add small head. And if you add the small head, you can basically build a small ship off of it on your big ship. And you don't have to worry about it being deleted because it's all a part of the ship. But that's it. That's all. Uh, that's what I did for uh, this ship. And all we did was add an extra large thruster, another gyroscope and two small thrusters on the side. And it fucking flies, boy. So you notice each connector to each drone has like this little ramp up and then going inside underneath the ship. Now I use this not to like enter the ship. I guess if you had a fighter, you could enter through here, but it's more of so if you land a drone, uh, the Mantoid people can come out and they can do some repairs, fix up the drones a little bit. Or like I said, if they had an actual fighter jet, they could have the fighter here. They run up, get inside, fly away into combat. This is the Mantoid Military's P-1 drone. This drone was equipped with one reloadable pod and two Gatlin guns. Used as an escort for transports and freighters, this sleek design of the drone was capable of incredible hit and run tactics. Each wing held a decoy to mess with AI targeting systems. The large thruster allowed this craft to reach high speeds in a short period of time. The drone had impressive targeting systems paired with an HD camera. Because the drone was fragile, it was best used in swarm tactics offensively and defensively. The Scion class freighter has since been modified to carry such craft, six at max capacity. The Scion was refitted with state-of-the-art radar systems. Two Mantoid comm officers were seated below. The cargo was also expanded for more cargo storage. Together, the P-1 drone and Scion freighter worked wonders. 
Well, that's all I have for uh, this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I have a plan for next video. I'm going to better explain thrusters and the thruster damage and how you can hide thrusters within your ship without affecting the look, um, the ship integrity itself so it's not blasting into your ship. You know, just some key, uh, tips and tricks to uh, hide your uh, thrusters within your ship. Also, before I forget, uh, in the comments below, I don't, I really don't know how to do this. I gotta think more about it, but somehow link me your quote unquote terrible design and I wanna see if I can change it. That idea came from another subscriber. Again, thank you all for giving me ideas on what I should do next. But let me in the, know in the comments what you want me to do. We can either take a look at the in-depth process of hiding thrusters or link me some of your ships on Steam, the workshop, and I can edit them for you just to see what I would do to improve them. But that's all I have for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a like, share the video, spread it, let me know what you like. And if you want me to play another game, let me know as well. Other than that, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Stay frosty, stay fishy, cause they're yummy, chonkers out.